Valley has always been a center for creativity and artists, and there were so many factors that have contributed to LA being the recipient of so much attention, and people have just responded to Freeze LA as an invitation to come to the city. If you're a artist or you're a designer or what have you, you're creating, you're making, so there's no difference. Working with initiatives like Fairmind is the only way that we can actually reduce our footprint as a jeweler. For me, it was very important to bring that awareness to the public. Every city has its timeline. Every city comes of age. Los Angeles is coming of age, and it's finding its moment. I find the idea of reinventing myself as an artist and starting with new mediums that I've never worked with before sort of keeps me on the edge. I feel like I tend to reinvent myself and find my own creative capacities. I think there's many similarities in my process for designing fashion in comparison to my process for furniture. I think my love for colour and use of mixed materials and mediums, I have a very similar approach to it. I think that because Los Angeles art scene is fairly new compared to New York and Europe, there's a chance for you to create your own history here. Oh, I have an installation here. Oh, we're sitting in it. The relationship between fashion and film. Fashion is kind of a way of expressing yourself. I think it's inherent. Clothes really can convey a very strong message about who you are as an individual. So I think they go hand in hand. I don't think you can have one without the other. My work mostly manifests in floral installations and arrangements and parties and different things. I love transforming spaces. I love finding ways to tantalize different senses that we have. I think that the LA creative scene right now is still pretty fresh. I feel like LA has the space, the space to create, the peers, I want to work together. I still remember the first time I flew into LA 10 years ago this year. I was struck, like most people, by just the sort of infinite expanse of, of just urban, grey urban block. Um, it's a really sort of low-rise city with a unique color palette. It had all the ingredients to start a series based on that urban environment. California definitely influences our work and we have spent years thinking about how the landscape of the state has informed the way we view design and pay attention to texture and color and I really feel that the natural landscape is something that has infused all of our design pieces, it has infused our film work and it's something that we can't quite shake. I think the LA creative scene is so incredible simply because LA is free from traditions. It really has this new outlook. It gives people so much space to be creative and it emboldens people to try new things, to push the boundaries and express themselves in new ways in a way that maybe not such traditional places do. 